नमस्ते वेलकम अगेन टू अवर चैनल क्यू बीट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस आई एम प्राणेश द फाउंडर ऑफ द चैनल एंड एन आई आई एस बैंगलोर एलमनस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम आईसर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन द वेरी फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ द आईसर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व द फर्स्ट एम सी क्यू इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द सेकेंड एम सी क्यू दैट इज एम सी क्यू नंबर फोर्टी सेवन based on mechanical properties of solids it's a very simple mcq a copper wire of length lcu young's modulus ycu and diameter d is hung from the ceiling an aluminium wire of length lal young's modulus yal and of same diameter d is joined end to end at the free end of the copper wire if under the action of a load applied at the free end of the aluminium wire the net elongation is delta l the applied load is and we have got four options to start with let us draw the figure suppose this is the ceiling let us use red color for the copper wire and uh, blue color for the aluminium wire so this length is l cu and this length is l a okay so at the free end of the aluminium wire a load is applied let us denote that load as p okay let's call this load as p so we have to determine this load p now always remember this when we have wires connected in series okay when we have wires connected in series the elongations are actually added okay so in this case the total elongation delta l is the elongation in the copper wire plus elongation in the aluminum wire. okay fine well you might also recall that the resistor r resistance r is rho l upon a right so if rho and a are constant then even the resistors they get added when the lengths are are different right anyways and and the, those well the wires have non zero resistance anyways so delta l is uh, delta l cu plus delta l and here in this case when the wires are in series the load is same okay so the same force p is going to act on the aluminum wire and also on the copper wire and the case is opposite for uh, wires in parallel okay if we have wires in parallel not asked but in case if you are curious about it if you have wires in parallel then the forces get added and delta l the elongation is same not the case in the set, in the problem but nonetheless well i thought i should mention that as well. anyways so let's now continue with this part okay let's now continue with this part let's assume that everything is within elastic limit or a proportionality limit so hooke's law is applicable so say by hooke's law okay if you don't know the relation let us quickly derive it in usual notations sigma directly proportional to epsilon stress directly proportional to strain sigma is equal to y epsilon y where y is the young's modulus sigma could either be tensile or compressive stress it's p by a force upon area y tensile or compressive strain delta l by l we are concerned with delta l which will be p l by a y okay now we can say that the total elongation is elongation in the copper wire plus elongation in the aluminum wire so what is the elongation in the copper wire it is p l c u upon a l uh, a y c u plus what is the elongation in the aluminum wire same p same formula rather p l a l upon a into y a l now why are we not taking the areas different here we are not taking the areas different because they say that both the wires have the same diameter right 
both the wires have same diameter so they must have the same cross sectional area so we can now say that delta L is equal to P by A let's take that part common so what remains inside will be L C U by Y C U plus L A L by Y A L let's now simplify this P by A as it is into bracket L C U Y A L cross multiplying plus L A L into Y C U upon Y C U into Y A L what do we want we want P okay so can we take it on one side yes let's let's keep P on one side and let's shift everything else on the other side so it will be delta L into A into Y C U into Y A L upon L C U Y A L plus L A L Y C U now there is one last thing that we need to do if you look, look at the options they don't use the letter A for area but instead they use the, the expression for uh, diameter uh, in terms of diameter okay so what will it be if we have a circular wire okay then what is going to be its area of cross section it's, it's going to be pi d squared by 4 right it's going to be pi d squared by 4 okay so let's now go back to the options and see which one of them fits our solution all of them have four in their denominator so that is not going to be of much help let's start with denominator which has an additional which has an addition here lcu yal plus lal ycu doesn't have doesn't have has does not have okay so let's continue with c and look for the matching of the other terms does it have delta l okay let's just go term by term does it have delta l it has does it have y d squared it has does it have y c u y l yes it has and denominator is also matching and because we know that only one option is, is going to be correct the correct option is c so question 47 option c very simple problem based on hooke's law and the fact that if wires are connected in series elongations get added load remains the same a similar concept could be asked in your uh, in your edition of IIT if uh, wires are connected in parallel elongation is the same and loads get distributed p1 plus p2 or even in case if you have multiple wires p1 plus p2 plus p3 and so on all right so see you in the next video with mcv number 3 or 48